What's going on YouTube? It's Vinny here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do rear brakes on a 2011 to 2020 Toyota Sienna. What you're going to need for this job is of course the rear rotors and pads. You're going to have a 3 8 breaker bar, either a short or a long, as well as a 3 8 ratchet with a 14 and a 17 millimeter socket. Optionally, you can also have a 17 millimeter wrench. I'm going to recommend a flathead or a small pry bar, a half inch torque wrench and a half inch breaker bar with a 21 millimeter socket. That's for the lug nuts. Optionally, also you can have an impact gun and I just have a half inch drive and a 3 8 drive and then some brake grease, some rags, jack stands, a car jack, a hammer to get the rotors off, a wire brush and a big pair of channel lock pliers. There'll be links down in the description for all the parts and tools used in this video. All right, first step's gonna be to jack the car up. When you come to the rear, you're gonna see this little arrow right here. That's the indicator to where you can lift the vehicle safely. I'm gonna put my jack under there to jack it up, but not all the way. We still wanna leave the tire on the ground so we can break our lug nuts free. Come under the car to just show you guys. That's where the jack should be. All right, we're gonna go ahead and break our lug nuts free. Now I'm gonna jack the wheel off the ground and I'm just gonna place my car jack under here just in case this ever fails. Next, we're gonna remove the wheel. All right, the next step's gonna be to remove the two 14 millimeter caliper slide pins. Once you have those removed, you'll be able to remove the top part of the caliper and we can sit this on top. And while we have it up there, we're gonna grab our big channel locks and you'll be able to squeeze this piston back in very slowly. All right, next step, we can pull out our old brake pads and then you're gonna get a 17 millimeter socket and we're gonna take off the bracket bolts on the back. All right, and then you can move the whole bracket. Next step would be to remove the rotor. So we're gonna be replacing this. Now, if you go to pull it and it's stuck and it doesn't wanna come off, you can give it a tap and that should break it free. You also wanna make sure that your parking brake is not engaged while you do this. Otherwise you can damage the brake shoes. All right, next step, you grab your wire brush, clean up the hub a little bit. Just remove any debris that builds up around this center part of the hub. You're also gonna wanna remove the rubber grommet that's on the old rotor. By getting your flat head, you can kind of push it out. And you're gonna wanna get that, and you're gonna want to put that in your new rotor. And you might find that it's a little tough to get in, so you can get your flathead and pinch the one side to get it in, like so. And then you're gonna get your new rotor and reinstall it. All right, next we're gonna prep our caliper bracket. So we're gonna take off these old clips if you have new ones. And if you do not have new ones, then you can just take your wire brush and gently clean both sides of these little bracket clips. But since we have new ones, we're gonna remove these and put the new ones in. So to do that, we're gonna get a flathead and kind of pry up under the clip. And you'll see it pops off. And then for the other side or the inside of them, you can get your flat head right under and they'll pry right up. All right, next, once you have that removed, get your wire brush and you wanna clean those slots that those clips sit in. Next, I like to get some grease and just put a little bit in those slots.
Next, I wanna grab our brake pads and we're just gonna put a little bit of grease on the ends of the brake pads. Okay, and then once you have both sides of the brake pad greased, you can put the squealers on. This pad's gonna be the outside pad and we're gonna put the squealer on this way to show you guys. They also call these wear indicators. And so basically as your pad wears down, this squealer part up here will contact the rotor to make the squealing noise to let you know that your pads are low. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. And we're also gonna put this on the top. And then I'm just gonna wipe off that excess grease on the back of it. Okay, next we're gonna install the brake caliper clips back onto the bracket. They're just gonna clip in like so. And pay attention to the orientation of these. Um, you can see how it's angled inwards like that. So when you go to slide your brake pads in, they clip right in like so, like that, on both sides. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and that's how it should look when it's all done. And then it wouldn't be a bad idea to just put a little bit of grease in there as well. Any kind of metal to metal contact can make noise, but with a little bit of grease, it definitely can't hurt. All right, last but not least, we're gonna pull our pins out. We're gonna wipe them down. Let's do one at a time. It looks like the top caliper pin has a rubber O-ring around it. So we're gonna clean that off and then re-grease it. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull the bottom caliper slide pin off. Pull that out, clean it, and re-grease it. Next, you're gonna grab your brake caliber bracket and your two 17 millimeter bolts, and we're going to reinstall this. And you're gonna to torque those two 17 millimeter bolts down to 79 foot-pounds. Next, you can grab your two brake pads with the wear indicators to the top. You're gonna slide it in on an angle. All right, and for me, it was easier to get the bottom in first and then the top, and just make sure your wear indicator is inside of there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the rear. All right, once you have those in, you can take the caliper and put it back on. We're gonna put our two 14 millimeter bolts back in. 14 millimeter on a ratchet and you can also use a 17 millimeter on the other part of the bolt which is right here to make sure that doesn't spin and we're going to torque these down to 25 foot pounds all right once everything's back together we're going to put our tire back on I'm gonna tighten them up in a star pattern. Not all the way. All right, now I'm gonna lower the car back down so this tire doesn't spin, and we're gonna torque these down to 76 foot-pounds of torque. We're gonna torque these in a star pattern. And then we're gonna double check our torque. If your car comes with one of these lug nut lock keys, be careful torquing with this thing. You don't want to go over tightening it because it will break. Now we could fully lower the car. All right, last step. Make sure you pump the brakes until they're tight.
All right, guys, and that about wraps it up. That's how you install rear brakes on a 2011 to 2020 Toyota Sienna. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will get back to you. If this video helped you guys out, please leave me a like. And if you guys are looking for more of this kind of content, hit that subscribe button because there'll be plenty more coming your way. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.